G'day everyone, my name is Mark Tulloch and I am from a company called Boot It Fitness. Uh, I'm the CEO, founder, co-founder of Boot It Fitness, which I operate over here in New Zealand. Um, we have a fixed premises uh, indoor group fitness location that myself and my business partner John run and we also operate uh, another 25 boot camp locations around New Zealand as well as um, now looking to grow internationally and expand into other markets. Okay, so this first video I wanted to just make a short video to tell you why you should listen to me of all people about uh, growing a boot camp business or growing uh, an indoor boot camp business or a any sort of group fitness training facility. Uh, so without uh, sort of blowing my own trumpet, which I you know try not to do because it's just not that cool, so I'm talking about yourself. I'll try and give you a little bit of a picture about um, where I've come from and what I've done with my business so far. So my background is the military. I uh, spent 12 years in the military, both full-time and part-time uh, doing that. Um, prior to that, I spent time working in the IT industry uh, by the way of sort of multimedia and telecommunications. Uh, and also, you know, just being involved in sales when I was really young. Uh, learning door-to-door -door sales and failing at it miserably and, and th certain things like that. Uh, I'm married to my wife, <laughs> obviously, and I've got an 11-year-old daughter. So that's a little bit about my background. Uh, why you should listen to me with regards to growing a boot camp business. Uh, when I first started out with my boot camp business, I was a personal trainer. I was working in a very... Uh, I guess busy gym on the main road in New Zealand, which is called Queen Street. Okay, Queen Street is kind of like I guess our the Broadway or you know the Strip of New Zealand. It's the main main street and the main central business district of Auckland, which is the financial centre of uh, New Zealand. Uh, it was a very busy gym, but it was very competitive, and I managed to, you know, develop the the sales and marketing skills within that environment to become the top PT in that gym. Okay, uh, and that was just by following, you know, certain things I knew about people's motivation, about what people wanted from a trainer, and delivering results. And that was what it was about. Uh, why I left that that gym and why I started my own business was. Uh, it's twofold. I wasn't really happy with the amount of people that I was able to touch as far as being able to help people with their health and fitness goals. I was a very good trainer. I got people results, but I was only about able to impart my knowledge to a, the small amount of people that I was working with um, relative to you know group fitness. That was the one thing. The, the other thing was I didn't really see the value as myself as a trainer paying rent to a gym which had a you know a facility with a whole lot of weights and equipment where the style of training that I delivered was based around a lot of the things that I learned in the military about getting fit uh, which didn't really utilize you know a lot of the equipment that people use in a gym you know, your traditional strength training uh, so I was doing very different style of training which got my people results and I just didn't see the value in it. Uh, myself, I really enjoy training outdoors and I, I enjoy training in a group environment. I just found the dynamics uh, a lot more fun for myself so I, you know, I thought that it would be more enjoyable for people. Okay, cut a long story short, myself and my business partner John who uh, I've known for quite a long time, we met on basic training, we got into business together, we quickly started one location uh, which was a bunch of university students uh, training with us in, in a really popular park in Auckland and we quickly grew to five uh, locations. We just set them up and drove numbers into them through our marketing methods and then we grew up to 10 locations and before we knew it we had 15 locations. Uh, really early in the piece we realised that you know coming from I guess a military background where you're, you're dealing with systems and training and ways to do things properly we quickly realised that uh, it wasn't that good to just put trainers in there and pay them an hourly rate because they weren't delivering the quality that we wanted to, them to deliver because it was you know it wasn't in their interest to deliver quality over and above their job which was to deliver training so we got into uh, licensing out our locations I guess in an affiliate model 
uh, where we you know, charged the trainer a really reasonable amount to own that location and they took 100% of the revenue. And that's been very successful. Uh, we've grown that up to having a good group of licensed bootcamp owner operators. Uh, we've got nine. And that has really allowed us to refine, I guess we knew our systems, we knew what worked, but it allowed us to refine the systems so that they were able to learn what worked quickly and efficient, uh, learn what we learned quickly and efficiently through an online medium. Okay, and now we're now to the point where we've got the, I guess, the support in place for our licensees where they can deliver the quality to uh, their members and they can utilize all of our marketing methods to quickly grow and get their turnover up around, you know, the 100k mark, which is kind of the magical mark for running a bootcamp business. And it's very achievable. Um, we did it easily. We doubled that in our first year. So it's very achievable. Um, that's, I guess that's, I mean, I'm putting my pitch out there to you. I am going to run a YouTube channel in, in unison with my uh, business partner, John, who, you know, who I work closely with. And we're going to be teaching you how to run a group fitness business, both indoors, outdoors, and a hybrid model correctly. Uh, we are not fly-by-nighters. We've been doing this for three years. We're in the trenches every day. I'm delivering anywhere between six and eight fitness sessions every day, so I'm working in the market actively myself. Uh, and then throughout the day, I'm constantly working on business systems, marketing uh, methods, and refining things so that it works for our business, which I in turn then... Uh, share and disseminate down through uh, all the licensees who work with us. Okay, so we've managed to go 25 locations in a country of 4.5 million. We've only just scratched the surface. Uh, we've become number one in Auckland City, which is a city of a population of 1.5 million, and it already had boot camp businesses that were established for over 10 years. Okay, and we've moved ahead of them as far as the amount of locations, the amount of people we've trained, the amount of sessions delivered, and also we're doing it in a more cost-effective manner because of the way that we've structured our business. Uh, we've helped people launch into smaller regional areas where you might have a town population of 20 to 50,000 people. Uh, what we found going into those locations is uh, it tends to be a lot less competitive. It's a very, it's basically a lot easier to sew up a smaller market because it tends to be less competitive. Uh, there tends to be less quality in those areas. And if you really come in with a really, really good value proposition as far as the quality of your training as well as, you know, the price that you're offering, you can find that sweet spot where you're going to get a high volume of members and you're just opening up more and more sessions. Okay, so I'm not going to, you know, blow my own trumpet enough there. Uh, it's, you know, it's kind of a weird thing talking about yourself, but hey, I need to get used to that because I want to share this knowledge with you. Um, if you have any questions, please email me directly, mark at bootit.co.nz. Uh, we also have an international website, which you should check out, bootitfitness.com. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to read your comments, both negative and positive. I'm sure, you know, there's people who are going to uh, come on and say, hey, you're a dreamer or whatever. Those numbers aren't even awesome. But hey, uh, I know from my own experience, we're running 25 locations. We've trained over 6,000 people. We've run thousands of sessions. We're profitable. We're making good money. Uh, our trainers are making good money and they have a great lifestyle. So that's it. Signing off from here. Hope to hear from you soon and we'll chat shortly. See you, team. Bye.